G'day folks, Tazzy here, and welcome back to Settlement Survival, and back into Tiger Town, where um, that pesky real world outside has kept me away from the game for a day or two, although I've just managed to upload episode 7, and I've loaded up the game to um, press on, try and advance our town a little bit, and there has been an update, which is kind of cool, as far as I can tell, um, the game is uh, tickling along quite well. No uh, consequences to my game save, so uh, all in all, everything seems perfectly fine. Now, with the um, the update, not a not a real lot of changes. They have added a a, a building, which is cool. Um, it is in quality of life. There, there's been a, a bit of shuffling around, as far as I can remember. They did say something about they've optimised the um, the development sort of table or menu um, as far as I can tell the may not necessarily be 100% true but I haven't really spotted anything that has like changed location um, but they have added in quality of life other than the, perhaps the order of the menus they have added that one there nursing home so it is um, it's a big beast 16 by 16 must be inside the market area so it is uh, quite a big beast and the senior citizens who are incapable of having children voluntarily leave their their home and, and moving to the the nursing home so that's kind of cool i don't know if that might um, even be uh, leading them towards perhaps something up here would it uh, would it perhaps lend itself to having retired adults working adults students and children i think that'd be that'd be kind of cool because um, i mean currently at the moment uh, adults seem to work until they drop dead, even if it is of old age, and yet they have now been given a nursing home, so I don't know, but um, I wouldn't mind the idea if, um, kind of make a bit of sense that after a certain age, people simply um, leave the workforce, but anyway, that's just me making up a bit of rubbish, so they've got that one there, they, in the uh, in the patch notes on Steam, it, it mentioned the age of 60, um, adults over the age of 60 might um, Utilize the, I think they actually called it a, a resort centre or something. But um, anyway, so that's a uh, that's a bit of a thing going on there. The, uh, the the mention of the age of sixty has me a little concerned regarding old age and deaths. I don't know if um, <laughs> if I'm putting a cemetery there, but maybe I better build it, or uh, might suffer the consequences of deaths without um, without a cemetery in place. Uh, what else did they mention? The other thing that they mentioned was that they... Um, well, there's a few things you can switch on and off, to be honest. I, I have not looked at settings. Perhaps I should have. Switching off Halloween settings and switching off... Um, guide tips or... I, I can't recall. Sorry. Um, but it mentioned they'd optimised some of the text. Text describing careers and text describing items. So I've been having a bit of a, a look around. I was keen on the, the shoe one. Um... Part of the that would be the blacksmith. I always click on the blacksmith when I want to look for the uh, tailor. Um, so I was curious about this because there was some sort of text um, regarding the shoes, which wasn't quite filled out, or we couldn't quite read everything. Um, while while I was doing that, I noticed, yeah, we uh, we need to unlock <laughs> we need to unlock a tech. It's all well and good to have reads, and it's all well and good to have a tailor, but um, we we need the uh, the tech knitting by the looks of that to uh, produce the straw shoes. Um. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Oh, they've, they've moved my help button. It's no longer up here. It is now down the bottom. Uh, so I was curious about that, and I had a look at um, shoes, which we find uh, somewhere. Living, maybe? Yeah. Living. Um, unfortunately, I, I don't know whether they've taken it. It used to say something like, slightly reduces unknown <laughs> slightly reduces and then we lost the text i don't know if that still applies and it is now sort of the next line down or if it's simply been removed i don't know but um so i've kind of been going around checking checking out a little few things but as i say it's uh, no major impact as far as i can tell to uh, what's currently going on with my game one thing i did notice i don't know if this is true or not i was checking out a few of my um, thingies and continuing on with my scrolling around activities and this is here I, I don't know if this has always been here i've got no idea there's probably a million of these things that um, i have simply not found in the game yet 
Um, so we have tools and beverages. So we're definitely going to utilise both of these because I think I've set up tools as um, a tradey goods. Because I didn't know what else to classify them as. So there's a bit of um, reorganising, perhaps, of um, my little open air warehouses. Is that what they're called? Yep. That um, perhaps I should do. I, n I noticed here, clay is in amongst um, what I've classified as ore. Well, I think I called it um, construction material over here. But apparently it's an ore. And if I was, um, if I had any sense and I actually looked at the category of ore, well, what do you know? <laughs> clay is an ore. Anyway, so there's a few little sort of insignificant things like that that's going on, but um, yeah, great to see a new update. So um, the the actual new building is uh, behind a lot of uh, a lot of unlocks there, so we won't be playing with that. Although it's um, it's really uh, pushing me towards perhaps looking at a cemetery. Barring that, not too much else is going on really. Um, Thoughts about this uh, yield icon? Now, I don't know if this is just an RNG. It's just a random happening on the calendar. And maybe we've struck it a little bit unlucky with the, with the area on the calendar that it's turned up. I've got no idea. But I, I did consider that the, uh, the odds of getting a, an increased yield is probably not before. It's, it's no doubt. If, if this is where it's happening, then it's no doubt the, the one after. But we might still... Um, Food is not great, so we might still um, press fairly hard this harvest, regardless of whether this comes into play or not. So I think we might uh, look at a, a third field, um, and we'll just, I guess, poach workers from everywhere else, and we'll try to fill up uh, three food farms. And I guess we can still concentrate a bit on the flax. We are zero for flax. We're good for agave, as far as... Um, as far as material supply is concerned, but uh, flax apparently is zip. Agave is great, so. I think, um, really, we'll just uh, drop down the farms. We'll let it rip. We'll get through this harvest system and um, see what we can come up with. One thing I did notice, I needed to have a bit of a catch up. So I'd, I was checking out episode seven um, as it was uh, uploading and, and that sort of thing. I noticed I've... <laughs> I built this house facing away from the road, which is a, uh, a little bit of a whoopsie. So I wouldn't mind uh, perhaps killing that house and just rebuilding it in the uh, appropriate orientation towards the road as opposed to away from the road. But barring that, yep, we'll, um, we'll hook up some fields. We'll poach as many workers as we can. We're uh, pretty much bang on time to start sowing. So I need to do that almost immediately. I wouldn't mind perhaps leaving as many of the tree planters up and running as we can. And uh, I mean, we're quite good for coal. We're doing pretty good for water. We, we seem to be doing, I keep going up top for my help button. We seem to be doing quite well for materials. Uh, clay, clay's a good one. So we might be able to stop quite a lot of jobs. I don't know if we necessarily need to uh, work closed for the next six months. So that's where we'll be stealing all our people from. So let's do it. Let's just, uh, let's rip into it. As I say, I think we will uh, opt for a third field. We uh, we don't have anything in the way of exciting seeds to drop in it. It's a shame I, uh, I started after the um, Halloween update or before the Halloween update because I'm, uh, I'm lacking the option for pumpkins, but never mind. I might, um, might just throw this road down here, I think. Just because it's an option, draw this one in across the front of the... Uh, I don't, don't really know why I'm doing that, but what I will do is uh, suggest we can throw a... Can I just zoom in a little more? Is that... Uh, yep. Yeah, maybe a... a well, well, 3x5 is fine. 3x5 is fine. I might even um, spin this one. Just so it matches the other side. No other reason other than that. I don't, I don't know. Jenny, I, I want to put it down here because I might end up with a, uh, a road this way. If there's a mine here, there'll be a road sort of hanging out here somewhere. So I don't want a huge long stockpile dropping out in that area. 
So we might just perhaps mimic those um, food stockpiles. Five by three there. Could I do a six? I can even do a seven. All right. Anyway. Three by five. I don't know if I necessarily want to um, move the location. Perhaps I do. But um, what did I want to do here? Turn the tools on. Well, I guess the tools are... What's this? Just a blacksmith. So the tools are on. Okay. Raw materials. Why is there agave and reeds here? I, I, I don't know. I do not know, but we don't... Well, we do want timber. I'll take it back. We don't want food raw materials. We don't want beverage materials. We don't want that. Raw materials, i.e. timber to make the tools, and the tools themselves. Seems fine to me. This one... Well, I can't actually switch off clay, so... It's either... It's, it's all or it's, you know... Anyway. So the clay probably won't move there. No tools there, no beverages. Fuel, obviously, or obviously good. So we'll say that they are good. I think I might just um, ask if this can be destroyed. Might look at spending a few uh, development points this time around. Uh, considering we're uh, playing with, well, the thought there being of an apiary, we... Uh, we need that, and I don't... I, there is something about... For me, this game, there is something about this row here. I think we might even chase this. The, the grow's no good to us. It's uh, it's the same as an orchard, and of course we don't have orchard fruit seeds, so that's basically pointless. Um, but it leads to the nursery, and it leads to the forest farm. Now, if we're getting the gathering station, then uh, perhaps we can find the herbs a herb seed to then grow in the nursery we've got the clay we need we've got plenty of clay um so the apiary of course for um well maybe a little bit of raw food helps just for raw food um beeswax for soap honey for ointments a bit later on down the track the uh, the grove is pointless nursery for herb growing and herb seed finding and uh, trees because timber is just a, a huge issue so there's a reasonable chance we might just blow almost every development point as we head down there. The, the reason I'm thinking that, if food's not great, water's under control, herbs. Now, unless we continue to gather forest floor goodies, herbs will become an issue. So if we can unlock the nursery, we can keep on top of herbs. We can keep on top of timber. Stone and iron are kind of going okay. We've organised coal, we've organised clothes, we've organised tool, we've organised uh, alcohol. So out of these kind of basic, let's try to, you know, work on this stuff. Uh, herbs is something, there's a lap of the gods kind of a thing, and we need to gather and cross fingers. So, yeah, we might uh, blow a lot of development points and head down that way and we can uh, help for trees, herbs and um, the apiary and we'll have most of these things somewhat under control which would be uh, a nice place to uh, nice place to be. Anyway back to what we are doing well I was actually uh, having a quick nosy around here wasn't I so this is uh, this is wrong at the end of the day it is not a construction material at all it is an ore so let's do that that one should be nothing more than food. Well, oh yeah, well there you go, see. I need to basically go around and switch tools and beverages off everything. Which is a bit of a bummer. It's a shame I didn't, uh, I've already done that. All right, good. <laughs> this one, now, this one needs a lot of, a lot of reshuffling. Water's fine. Raw material, beverage material sounds like a winner. So that is good. Tools is not, beverages is perfect this one uh, raw material that would be textile material clothing is perfect no tools no beverages excellent have we pretty much I don't know about um, what we will do here 
we'll definitely stockpile out here. Obviously, uh, food and uh, I don't know what other ca else categories, but we'll just wait for the. We'll probably have to smash plants. I guess it would be wise to uh, put it in now so they don't plant where we're going to knock them down. But anyway, once the uh, real buildings are in place, there we'll we'll look at the um, warehouses for those areas. That's about it. I'm con still considering the uh, the tree farms here. We might even um, break it into four. We might we might join this road? I contemplated joining that road before. We might join the road and um, basically utilize this area. Maybe a little bit of storage, and we can drop in. Might split it in half. I guess it would be eight by eight by whatever, eight by whatever. Put a road in eight by whatever, and we'll have four four little tree farms in there, perhaps. All right, good to go. Um, five workers. I think we'll rock with five all around and just see what we need to, uh, how many we need to poach for getting workers to fill everything. Five for our 10 by 10s. I think I prefer the idea of maybe having three on the standards. I'm not sure. Still not convinced we need a gobe, but look, we'll do it. Let's do that. And we've got flax next to the tailor go next to the distillery. Oats were oats were last season. I, I guess that's fine. And let's throw in. I'm going to actually close that. We'll opt for lettuce again. Seeing as we did those last time, we'll double up lettuce this time. And we'll go with that. So I need, if I wish to fill all slots, six and so I need 21 workers. Let's try and find 21 workers. I think we can uh, live without making clothes for the next six months. I wouldn't mind perhaps trying our best to uh, keep producing alcohol at this point in time. I think we can probably drop the sand pit out. Four fishermen, not too bad an idea. Although we only need to live for six months. I think uh, although we're about to smash this, plenty of oats there. They've got plenty of oats. Plenty of fish. Not great in that house. They're going well. Yeah, a little dodgy, but only three. And not bad. So the housing is quite good. We've got 37 on supply. We don't necessarily need the four fishermen, but let's see how else we get on. Closed, closed. All right. Um, water is okay. Perhaps we can live without the big wells for six months. I don't think the distillery is going to uh, smash us that hard for water. We're at 16. Might drop one of those out. I think we can live without a repairman for six months. Definitely keep the school, the dock, the cleric open. A builder is Maybe if we play with the house, I wouldn't mind getting this done before winter, although we've got uh, plenty of time, I guess. But don't mind the idea of doing that. In fact, I will do that. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to smash this house. Um, 18, so we could do with three more. All right, well, one less there. One less there. Final check. All right. I think we'll uh, we'll steal one of the fishermen and we'll roll with that. So uh, no tools, no clothes, no clay, no water. Hmm. Anyway. It's just, uh, it's just what we have to do. Let's unlock that five for five. Unlock that five for five. Unlock that one five for five. Brilliant. Fully loaded. Is that uh, three for three? All right, well, 
you are now homeless because you are being kicked back to the boarding house. There is just enough room, so it's fine. March has arrived. No injuries at this point in time to consider, which is uh, quite awesome. Away we go. Let's see how we get on with all of that. Slack time right here, right now, you say, no, for the briefest of moments it was. Why did you, uh, why did you drop your goodies behind there? Interesting. So, so I'm not too sure how far we're going to do, uh, you know, get with anything exciting going on. Just really want to punch through until uh, harvest, because ultimately there's uh, not a real loss else happening with um, the workforce that we have. So we'll just punch it through at 10 times speed until harvest. And then we can look at perhaps um, playing with other odds and ends. I obviously did nothing here. <laughs> Oops. Only food. Literally only food. Must remember to scroll. Excellent. I guess I've uh, made the same mistake there. Never mind. Only food. Scroll on down there. No tools, no beverages. There's every chance there is uh, something else I've also missed, but anyway. Are we going on the sow? Looking good. End of month four. Okay. That will be okay. We seem to have done all right with uh, five on these uh, 10 by 10s. We all, actually, we almost did quite okay with five on the 11 by 11s, although. I did tend to throw the additional spare hand close to the end of harvest, but... Whoops, I've got nothing for um, people to do. Should the farmers want to venture away from... Okay. That's done. Should the farmers want to venture away from um, the fields during farm time? Am I clearing this out? In fact, I will. You may look at uh, tree chopping, tree uh, tree farming in that particular area. I'm still not convinced that that's the right place to go, but anyway. Really no trees to be had there. There's almost none to be had there either. I guess we can... on pause and yet trees are trees are doing things whilst on pause i guess we can uh, maybe steal some trees from there timber 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 what a pain um something did cross my mind oh the house the house and the builder let's perhaps do a slightly better effort of um, what i did last time so a house will go there and it will squeeze there Let's turn it towards the road. Much better idea. Thank you, Halsey, but you can uh, disappear. Get that house up and running again. I don't think we've got any spare hands, although the builder if bored, well, he's got roads to build, I guess. Maybe the marketplace person might be uh, chopping a tree or two. I'd like to know the consequence of chopping like, extremely young trees like that as opposed to those. Anyway, how's the farming happening up here? It nice to have a bit of flax. We seem to be doing reasonably well for, um, somebody's doing some tree chopping. At least, at least two. We seem to be doing fairly well for keeping workers occupied. We, uh, We'll be looking for 21 workplaces. Someone is starving. At least they're working on a farm. As soon as they harvest, they can eat. Where do you live, good sir? You live in the boarding house, really. Of all the, uh, all the places to be empty of food, the boarding house is not the premises that I would like it to be. 
hopefully, where exactly are you going? Tree cutting way down there. Hopefully, um, we can sort that out before um, this becomes a problem. You are clearly starving. You have plenty of life points right here, right now. You work in the logging camp. You work in the logging camp. Ah, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an idiot. I'm a complete fool. Can we uh, kindly cancel any of that? That's ridiculous. Along with that and that, I guess the rest is fine. Oh, that's fine. Oops! And nearly, uh, nearly cut down my trees that I wanted for my gathering station. Why, why are you not... I guess you are. I'm back to that question. Yes. Lots of starving people. Come on, um... Oh, we are harvesting. Wow! Ripping into it. Middle of July. Harvesting. So not ripening anymore. Harvesting. Excellent news. Excellent news. Is anybody under serious threat? Yeah. If they are, like if they've got very little life points, we can um, suggest that they work on a farm and as soon as they pick something, they'll eat it. <laughs> That'll sort it. You're going okay. It's really only life points. Nobody's uh, desperately under threat of losing all their life points, so I guess we're okay. It's one of them literally not running to the... Um, Stockpiles, which I kind of thought would have had food on them, but they don't. Oh, food's been dropped into here. Good job. Very good. It is uh, still July. Harvest seems okay. Middle field's killing it. How's this going? I'll just let it ride. We'll just let it run and... Um, uh, we'll know if, if five is... Too many or not enough, as as it is with three here. I think we're uh, going reasonably okay. Um, builder, good man, thank you. Um, I'm getting more and more concerned with the. I don't know whether I should be stressing about this um, graveyard, frankly, but. I think I'm going to do it. We're about to have a lot of spare hands from the uh, vacated farms. I still don't know about um, putting it up here, but I think that's what I'm going to do. So what I'll do is just draw up dirt somewhere up there. I don't mind jumping on the end of that road. I don't know. We'll perhaps end it there. Now, we have a space, we have a space, we have a space, I'm going to maintain that idea, and do that. It's really relative, uh, irrelevant. Um, what can I do to um, perhaps work that out? Take one off that, so it is 12 wide, all right. Well, I might um, stick with 10. I think I mentioned 10 before. Cemetery. Cemetery, thank you. I stay one off and one off. 10 by 10. I'm not sure exactly what we're um, placing around the outside of the cemetery, but anyway, we can uh, perhaps we'll have nice little paths going in. Uh, the back can just remain open. I, well, all right. Let's finish off the job, I suppose. 
dirt road one off seems about right can I kindly remove maybe that maybe that and just replace those corners doink and doink all seems well might throw some builders at it once we get the spare hands I don't mind that cemetery for Tiger Town I'm not actually sure I like it, but... Mm. I'm just considering I, I perhaps may have preferred using that road and having it... Mm. Oh look, it's fine. We'll run with it. That's just three. It looks like we've uh, finished with one farm. I'm still iron off the, <laughs> still lying off the cemetery. I see no activity at all. All right, how did you get on? Five hundred. All right. I guess that was six with, um, it was seven, but with the good, the good soil underneath it. Hmm. See if this one's 500 is at the same as uh, this one. It's already at 430, that one. I don't know. Maybe 500 is normal for 10 by 10. It's a nice, it's a nice round number for a nice round field. Okay, let's um, load up some workers did we steal tree planters we did i think uh, i think we want to head there first lacking a laborer because i've still got that on uh what did i do i'm looking at the field i'm getting confused with which menu i'm staring at at the moment could you kindly jump in there mark injuries none brilliant could you kindly jump in there uh, Zora, thank you. Full bottle on that. I think we'll um, we'll offer a couple of extra builders right here, right now, at this point in time. Leaving me with one. I don't mind throwing open the uh, repair shop. I probably won't do any repairing but um, it's getting thicker it's definitely getting thicker awesome let me hook up some um, well I was about to say easy picking trees maybe we've got time to I guess I might be uh, heading up here I'll tell you what, what we could steal is um Can I draw that in? All right, good. And cancel that and steal. Sort of basically that I think was reasonable. Almost. Almost, I need to cancel. Kind of, I don't know, them. Grab a few extra trees. We're about to chew through quite a lot. Um, trees have re-arrived here. That's fine. I wanted uh, further out trees, didn't I? Can't really go west. Might steal a few up around the uh, the top of the cemetery. If we grab a few added extras, 
maybe through there. I'll let it rip. Almost got um, more workers. How are the three by threes traveling? Going okay. Everybody has left the scene. It is time for that. You are right, game. Uh, how'd we get on? 500. Precisely the same. Okay. I guess that's just the uh, just the yield, isn't it, for for a low yield crop in a 10 by 10? It looks like it's 500. So I guess there's no problem happening there. Five additional people to work on. I don't even know what that is. Water. Throw an additional fisherman back in. Why do I not have workers? I did not close that field. Keep making that same mistake. Now we can find a uh, extra fisherman. Thank you, Elijah. Appreciate it. Almost clothing time. Tools are a problem. All right, fair enough. Tools are a problem. Timber is a problem, but um, do the best you can in there by yourself, Laura. Still got three. We'll open up one big well. We'll rock with just one lazy for the briefest amount of time. Punch on with that um, oats field. Looks like the flax. Are we going to get all the flax and all the agave? Don't know. We are in. What's the temperature? Maybe. Maybe. Um, everybody's vacated the uh, oats field. Looks like it to me. How'd you get on? Seven for seven. With all of that field being fertile? Yes. Okay. 100%. It's one it's not seven. I was going to say 750. Anyway. Good job. So we've picked up uh, 1700 food with the food with the three food Farms. I guess that's um, not a bad effort. Switch off the field, son. Switch off the field. Okay, more people. I guess flax has become a thing. Let's um, open up the weaver. Let's open up the tailor. Let's open up the uh, other big well. Currently missing out on sand or clay, planks, mining, mining is the big one, all right, all done there, how are you folk going to uh, travel with your workforce of three, you kind of need to get it done, and you kind of need to get it done now, Agave's going to make it, let's get on with that flax, stop, um, stop mucking around here, Slogging away on your own. Here comes a helping hand. Temperature, 5 degrees C. Job done. Everybody's out. Excellent work. How did you get on? 384 and 320. Oh. I think that's, uh, is that kind of, has agave always been a little lower than flax? Not sure. Brilliant, brilliant. Let's close the fields up. I'm going to um, make the call that this had zero play, the additional yield. I think that came into play at all there. Anyway, good job, people. Shall we continue? I don't mind continuing with clay for a little longer. I think we're, um, I think we've well and truly got enough. But um, oh, we've got an injury. Um, but at soon, at some time, we'll uh, we'll make the swap to uh, stand, just for no other reason that we have sand. Okay, definitely leave the sawmill closed. 
I think that's fine. These seem to pump through, um, pump through the flax really quickly, making linen. That's fine. We need to check out the injury if that's the distiller. We'll need to do something about it. Oh, hello. We have two injuries. All right. Five lazies. I guess um, that is an option there. We might close that up. Apparently that leaves no workers. Three injuries. First time I've actually looked over that time at the side of the screen. The dock is injured. The brewer is injured. And the teacher is injured. All right. Well, none of that is uh, good news at all. Can we kindly swap, Brian Bud? You can be a labourer. One of the labourers, it's not Brian. Rebecca, could you um, kindly work as the brewer? Jerry, you're out of there. Labourer. Brian or Jerry. Therefore, Wayne, educated. I guess I could look at that. It's still only Daphne, I think. Wayne, you are now the doctor. Congratulations. Ray. Ray. Free bud, you're out. Oh, old long-term injury-prone Ray. You've, uh, you've been out of the limelight for uh, quite some time. Have be a labourer. Hannah sounds good. Educated adult. You're now the teacher. Let's roll with that. Three injured, three labourers. All right. But we are rocking with three builders. Perhaps a little over the top. Otherwise going okay. I did not actually uh, see what was going on with them. A sprained ankle, a foot fracture for Brian. You uh, And you're living way down there, Brian. That's uh, not good news. This is, um, this is something that could spell death. No, uh, plenty of bug fixing, but no changes to the uh, foot fractures. Hmm. I kind of get the idea it's uh, it's intentional by the devs to set it up that way. Foot fracture, two foot fractures. Oh, brilliant. Brian, who lives down there, and good old Ray, who lives right next door to the clinic. Uh, I don't know if I can do anything about this. I guess I kind of can, but... Um, I, I don't think I want to... I don't think I want to play around with it. We might... Um, was it Brian? Brian may be under serious threat of... Um, ending up in the cemetery at this rate. Uh, I mean, sooner or later, he's, he's, he'll be being treated for a long time. He will... Uh, if his clothes don't run out, he will need to eat, if that's time badly, with uh, temperature. And uh, barring kicking Brian out of out of his house I don't know we can I'm not going to try to shuffle housing sooner or later sooner or later we've just got to roll with the punches people will die so never mind I wish you the best of luck Brian about uh, the best I can offer okay I'm seeing a few exposed plants up here. I guess um, I guess we can look into that. Well, actually, no, he'll go here. Yeah, so it's food. Yeah, yeah. It'll be uh, food and thirst. Any chance you'll go to a warehouse? I don't think there is, regardless of if there's food and water. I think he'll still come here to eat, so... Have we, uh, is anything else snuck by? Where did we start? Where the immigrants arrived? Well. 
I'm not sure. It was March. March of year eight, March of year eight. Zero births. No sneaky deaths that have uh, snuck past my attention there. All right. Getting nice and thick here. Maybe how we how we travelling? Maybe we can run it until. Hmm. I don't know. Run it until I don't know. That's a uh, that's a good response. Really know about collecting food in winter. I'm still not convinced that's a. Uh, good idea but anyway I wish I could work out where I want to uh, start this collection let's maybe try that roll that over to there did I uh, suggest a clean wipeout here I think we want to I think we'll uh, spend some development points please gather anything and everything that happens to uh, exist in all of that area hang in there Brian I would uh, that literally only 20 build points all right well that's good news if worse comes to worse than we lose Brian I guess um, we have somewhere for him to go cemetery is up 32 tombstones for a 10 by 10. There you go. If there is no grief for the dead, the family will suffer from grief. It's not really telling me if, um, if a tombstone will arrive there. Let's say somebody was already dead. Do they now get a tombstone? Or is it, uh, has the opportunity passed? Three still injured. Still rocking three builders. To build what? To builders build the tree farm. There's plenty of roads for them to work on. It's almost it. We'll rock with three builders temporarily. Temperature is grim and will be for some time. Where are you, Brian? The Great Harvest. If, if, is this like just a bad RNG thing and I'm not getting it for either harvest here? Which would be uh, a little bit disappointing if I'm allowed to uh, suggest that. Hang in there with your food, Brian. I need you to hang in there with your food. Yeah, that'd, uh, that'd be a bummer. Anyway, we, um, there's nothing we can do about it. Not unless there's uh, things going I guess maybe you could, um, I don't know how the uh, nurseries work. Harvesting things such as, um, well, your, your herbs, uh, tobacco, etc. I can only assume this is um, slack time. What would happen if we... Um, mm. Why is Cheryl a uh, labourer? What's going on, Cheryl? Did we uh, boot Cheryl out of a job and I can't remember? Maybe she was the um, working in the distillery. I've upset all the counts on uh, labourers now. Oh, okay. With uh, somebody's... No. Builder Gina has died of old age. Holy crap. I wish I knew how old Gina was. Excuse me, this is not going to be uh, very exciting as I do this. 56, 45, 51. 50. I've been talking about that cemetery for like about, I don't know, two or three episodes. 39. 
41. I should have written down the age, uh, the, just, you know, wrote a little note to myself as to the, uh, the age of the elderly and their names. Jerry is 64. Ah, oh, look, I won't. I won't go through it. I'm curious. But, um, well, there you go. We've lost Gina. R.I.P. Gina. I don't know if she was in a, uh, an original settler or, um, or not. I suspect she was uh, one of the uh, elderly immigrants that have rocked in. And Larry has replaced her as a builder. Well, um, Larry, bud, I appreciate your effort, but I'm pretty sure that you are one of the injured. Ah, of course. I should have realised that that would probably happen. Larry, bud, you're a labourer. Now I need to check my injured. Oh, do we have a fresh injured? Ray, Jerry and Brian. Well, what am I thinking? My bad, Larry. Um, good man. Thank you. Okay. Let's press on for a little longer. I need this cleared. I think, um, I don't know, it's, uh, it's looking pretty thick. Who's, what? You're, uh, you're planting. Get, get, get over there. <laughs> get in that house. Crazy fools. Leopold is out of school. He was our one and only student. Well, there you go. Yeah, the poor old uh, birth rate of Tiger Town is, um, well, it's non-existent, basically, and has been the entire game. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. We got, uh, do we have, no, we don't. Do we, do we have opportunity here? Maybe. Have we had a birth? We can't have had a birth. We've got no children. There's a chance. There's a chance for, um, well, one. <laughs> Probably only one. No sign of immigrants. So, I'm not sure. Not sure if that's good or bad. But we need more housing. We kind of need a stronger um, food input if we're going to start busting out more houses, really. Food, uh, water and coal is okay. I'm not convinced um, our food supply is where it needs to be. You've, um, is that how well you've been going? Brilliant job, Rebecca. Thank you. Um, have a spell. I'm not sure what job you're doing, but have a spell. You still have flax. Have you destroyed our... Um, tool capacity? Maybe not. Can we maybe give that just a, a bit of a burst briefly? Rebecca checking the injured. Ray, Jerry, Brian. Okay. Four people a little bit bored but they've got a few odd jobs to be done. Winter still got a month or two ahead of us. Leopold has graduated. I did not remove the teacher. I can't see why that's not a reasonable thing to do. I will just simply remove the teacher. I gotta say, I don't know. Um, I don't know if it makes it. Okay, so I need to perhaps say, Hannah, please be a labourer. Is that the best way of doing it? Yeah, science or whatever you want to call it, development, output. I, I, I guess it's probably zero, but I don't, uh, I don't know. I do not know. Let's just punch it a little longer. I don't think we're going to get to clear the area. I think we'll, um, we'll do the best we're doing at the moment. And um, next time round, we can look at, I guess, bending... Quite a few of our development points. We may even need to look to um, five a cold. Just uh, don't die. We may need to look at maybe this one. Material recycling. 
I don't. Uh, oh, hello. Brian is on his work, on his uh, on his walk. We're going to have two deaths in one episode. We're going to depend if he can get home before um, this. And he, if he actually stays in there to get warm once he's eaten. If he uh, if he departs the scene before he doesn't get warm, let's uh, let's just watch the fate of Brian, and then um, then I guess we will call it, and we can have a dabble here with perhaps knocking these down, putting in the appropriate buildings, and uh, therefore spending some development points. Come the next episode to organise a few of these bits and pieces. But um, all right, Brian, let's see how you get on, bud. Please stay in there and get warm. You did. You are an absolute legend. Well, Brian may just live to tell the tale of his fractured foot. I'm not sure where he's going. Oh, he's going to the clinic. Good job. I think Brian, I guess the other one is a foot fracture, but it's Ray, and he literally lives right next door to the... Sprain angle for flora, a water fetcher. Apparently you two boys are foresters. Am I allowed to um, ask how that has happened? There's a lot of this that goes on. This had four people. And it was not Ray. Anyway. A little irrelevant. Well, we lost Gina. Poor old Gina. She uh, did the best she could for Tiger Town. But it looks like... Uh, Ray and Brian might, might survive their uh, fractured feet. But that is where we're going to leave it. We'll, uh, we'll call it there and we'll venture forth once more in the next uh, video. So thanks very much for taking an interest in this episode, folks. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.